Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey, today we're gonna look at Sublime Self-Working Card Tricks from John Carey and Big Blind Media. All right, so what is this? Uh, basically, it's 10 effects, 10 uh, tricks. There's nine card tricks, one coin trick, mm, one coin trick. Uh, they're all self-working, no slights at all. Uh, let's watch the trailer. so much for coming along That's today. okay. Um, a little mystery with a pack of cards, but you don't have to choose a card. Okay. I'm going to make a prediction. Right. Now, most magicians, when they make predictions, they take a piece of paper, they take a pen, and they write it down. Some fold it up into a little square, and they put it in an envelope, and then they seal the envelope up. Some take the envelope, put it in a box, take a padlock and lock the box. Right. Way too much time. Okay. I'm going to make an open prediction, a verbal prediction of a card. Okay, okay. Um, and my open prediction today will be the four, no, the, the two of clubs. The two of clubs. Okay, what's okay. my open prediction? The two of clubs. Don't forget that, yeah? Okay, okay. got it. Would you hold the cards for me? And uh, what I want you to do is give them a little mix. So cut off about a third of the deck and place them just there for me. Excellent, and cut off about half of those and put them there. Beautiful, and put those just there. Let me ask you, um, do you play any cards at all? Poker or blackjack? Not really, no. But you understand the cards? Yes. Yeah, okay. And why don't you just stack them up for me? That's lovely. Now, numbers play an important role in our lives, don't they, Lucy? You've got pin numbers, house numbers, yep. national insurance numbers, lottery numbers. Gym numbers, numbers. Gym numbers, as you can see, my gym number expired <laughs> about three years ago. But um, numbers do play an important role in our life. Yeah. I'm going to ask you to think of a number. So we're not here all day. I want you to think of a number, say, between 10 and 20, you know, like 11 or 12, but don't let me influence you. Make it high, make it difficult, yeah? Okay. okay. Could I have any way at all of knowing what number you're thinking of right now? No. No, absolutely no is the right answer. Um, tell everybody, what number are you thinking of? 19. 19. But you could have named 12, you could have named 14, you could have named 16, yeah? yeah? I want you to pick up that deck for me. I want you to hold it as if you were going to deal in a game of cards. And I want you to deal the cards one at a time, face up, turning the cards over onto the table. And we'll count. That's one. And continue. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Stop there for a moment, Lucy. Do you remember my open prediction? Yeah. What was it? Two of clubs. Great memory. Have you seen the two of clubs so far? No. Remember, that's one, two, three, four, five, six cards, yeah? Yeah. And you just thought of a number, and it was 19, yeah? Yeah. So that's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, carry on, Lucy, carry on. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Stop right there, Lucy. There's a two of hearts. Yeah. I could have named that card, but I didn't name that card, Lucy, no, did I? No. What was my open prediction? The two of clubs. Brilliant memory. Okay. That's 10, so that's 11. <laughs> 12, 13, the tension is building. 14, <laughs> yeah. 15, 16, 17, 18. Stop right there, Lucy. There's 18 cards there. Yeah. There's black cards, there's red cards, there's picture cards, there's number cards. Do you see my open prediction card? No. And you thought of 19? Yeah. Well, you could have thought of 12, 14, 16, any number is possible. How impressed would you be if the 19th card was my open prediction? And remember, you mix the cards. I'm very impressed, because it's not possible. <laughs> well, I'm here to try the impossible. Okay. And maybe mysterious forces <laughs> are at work here in Shropshire today. There's only one way of finding out. Turn that card over and show it to the camera and freak out. <laughs> 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 There's a two of clubs. My open prediction. Oh Three my god. Card number. <laughs> Magic just kills me, honestly. <laughs> All right, so that was John Kerry and Big Blind Media. A couple questions we always ask about all of our magic reviews, and the first of which is, 
What's in the box, kids? What's in the box? Uh, you're gonna get a DVD. It's really just a DVD, uh, and there's 10 tricks taught. Don't really know how long it is, because uh, the DVD is broken up into little segments, but there's a performance and a teaching for every single one of these tricks. Is it what I thought? Uh, yeah, it's what I thought. It's a DVD on simple card tricks, so there's really nothing else to it. What's the overall quality and production value of the video? Uh, Big Blind Media always makes great videos. Uh, all of the performances are shot uh, in kind of like a big open space, like a old rustic barn townhome uh, upstairs. John Kerry performs all the effects for very beautiful, very attractive spectators. And then the reveals, the teaching, is all done with John Kerry uh, back in the Big Blind Media studio with Liam Montier. And it's nice to have Liam there because Liam uh, is there to ask questions, kind of like be your eyes, ask the questions that you would ask, and he helps John Kerry uh, teach this to you uh, in a really fleshed out way. All right, so what are the tricks you're gonna learn on this? Uh, uh, you're going to learn a couple of simple any card to any numbers. You're going to learn a trick with dice. You're going to learn a really cool uh, take on Max Maven's one-handed card trick, where you do the entire trick with one hand in your pocket. The spectator selects a card. The card vanishes from the deck. And then when you pull your hand out of your pocket, it's holding the card that they chose. Uh, there's a do as I do on there with two decks. There's a couple of prediction effects. There's kind of like a modification of a 52 on one trick that uses a little bit of math. And there's even a coin trick on there called Make Believe, which is actually my favorite. All right, positives. What are the positives to Sublime? Uh, John Kerry has created a fun, entry-level card magic DVD, breathing new life into classic plots. Young and old just starting out in card magic are gonna find some total gems sure to pique their magic interest. Negatives, all right, so what are the negatives? You know, like we stay around here, there's negatives to everything. These are just the negatives that I see. They don't have to be the negatives that you see. Uh, for me, Sublime was just a little too easy. Okay, I love self-working card tricks, I do. And I love all the self-working tricks that uh, Big Blind Media has put out in the past. I love the ones with Liam Montier and the ones with John Bannon. Uh, this one, though, was a little too easy, a little too simple. And so a lot of these tricks, if not most of them, if not all of them, uh, I was able to figure out how it was done before they showed me how it was done. Like, you just see it watching it. You just know, okay, this is that. And it's only because I've seen a lot of these. Maybe that's part of it. But I, I just also have a magician's eye, so I, I kind of always know what to look, what to expect. Uh, but I think this DVD would be great for entry-level magic. So I think, you know, who would like this? Beginners, all right? This is a great beginner DVD, and it's so much better than a lot of the other beginner card tricks that are out there that are like so easy anybody could figure them out, right? And this is so much better than any like Dover publication that's trying to give you like simple card tricks for kids. Like this is a, this is good stuff. This is good stuff for beginners. And so I think anybody just starting out in card magic uh, is definitely going to love this, young and old. Is it worth your money? It's 27 bucks, uh, 10 tricks. It's John Kerry, for goodness sakes, and Big Blind Media. So it's definitely worth your money. All right, so that is Sublime Self-Working Card Tricks from John Kerry and Big Blind Media. As always, I want to thank Murphy's Magic Supplies for allowing me to have this so that I could do an unbiased review for you. And if you would like to purchase this for yourself, you can find it from one of your very favorite Murphy's Magic dealers. Thanks. Bye.